So let's begin by taking a look at what a guest user actually is in Teams and why you might want to use one. So a guest is someone that isn't an employee or member of your organisation. They don't have an Office 365 account with your organisation. For example, a guest might include a partner, vendor, supplier or consultants that you work with. And anyone who is not a part of your organisation can be added as a guest within Teams. So this means anyone with a business account, that is potentially their own Office 365 account or Azure Active Directory account or a consumer email account, so outlook.com, gmail.com or others can also participate as a guest within your Teams with full access to Teams and channel experiences. Why use guest access then? Well, with guest access, organisations that use Teams can provide access to Teams documents and channels, resources, chats and applications to partners while maintaining complete control over their own data. A great example which one of our customers is actually using is to create a team for each of the customers that you're working with and invite them so that you can enable communication and collaboration on projects, share files, chat, message, etc. It's a great alternative to using email for the same thing. All guests within Teams are also covered by the same compliance and audit and protection as the rest of your Office 365 users and guests can be managed securely within Azure Active Directory. But of course, there are some limitations for guest users within Teams and here is a list of some of the functionality that isn't available to a guest within your Teams. They don't have access to OneDrive for business. They cannot search for people outside of the team that they are assigned to. They don't have access to the calendar, scheduled meetings or the meeting details. They don't have access to the organisation chart. They cannot create or make any changes to a team. And they cannot browse for a team. And they also cannot upload files to a person-to-person -person chat, although they would be able to upload files within the Files tab within any channels within your Teams. But you do need to enable guest access before you can use it because guest access within Teams is disabled by default within your Office 365 environment. Only an administrator user with the correct privileges can enable this for you. Now of course, if you are an M3 customer, then we can do this for you. Just raise a ticket via the normal method. But if you aren't an M3 customer or we are not managing your Office 365 environment, then I am going to show you right now how to do this within your Teams account. So the first thing you're going to have to do is get access to your Office Administrator account. Okay. Once you have the username and password, if you head to portal.office.com, the URL that I've put on the screen here, log in. Once you log in, you're going to see this screen which has all the different Microsoft products. Now, if you are logged in with the correct account, you will have this admin option here. You're going to want to select admin. So once the admin page loads, you want to click on the show all box at the bottom here to expand the menu. Once the box expands, if you just scroll down to you find Teams under Admin Centers and click on that. Now that we have the Microsoft Teams Admin Center loaded, on the menu down the left hand side, you want to come down to Org Wide or Organization Wide Settings and click on that to expand that out and then select Guest Access. So now we've got the guest access page loaded, there's only one option here that you can click and that is to allow guest access in Teams. Now this is an organization wide setting so by applying it here will enable this setting across your entire organization, it's not something that you have to enable user by user. Now once you click on that option you're going to get a whole load of other options appear. Now you can have a look to go through these yourself. I'm not going to go through them one by one but the basic allows you to turn on guest settings for different parts of Microsoft Teams such as calling, meetings and messages. But everything will just turn on by default so unless there's anything that you want to turn off feel free to do that but if not just go ahead and click the save button down at the bottom 
Once you've clicked save in those options, you are going to then get a pop-up bar at the top of the screen that is going to tell you that it can take between 2 and 24 hours for this change to take effect. So this is not going to be instant, you are going to have to wait for this to take effect. Okay, so now we've applied that setting and the change has taken effect. So how do you actually go about adding a guest into a Microsoft team? Well, I'm here logged into our Microsoft Teams account and you can see we've got a few teams here. Now, if I click on the three little more options uh, setting here for our team, click on add member, the box is going to pop up asking you to type in a name or an email address, so if I start typing in bill.gates at microsoft.com you see now it's going to search for Bill's email address now before we applied the setting it would just give you an error here, it would just say that it could not find the person or something to that effect, I can't remember exactly what it says and the add button always remains greyed out but now if I click on uh, Bill's email address there you can see that the add button is now lit up and would allow us to add Bill to our Teams account. Now I'm sure he's got much more interesting things to do than become part of our Microsoft Teams chats so I'm not going to do that but that is how you can add a user to your Microsoft Teams account. Now I hope this video has been helpful to you. Like I said earlier, if you would like us to enable this within your Office 365 environment, please raise a ticket in a normal way. Of course, if you want to contact us, please feel free to check out our website or give us a call. The contact details are on the screen. And we hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.